वेलकम बैक गैस सो पैच वर्जन 2.12 पॉइंट ट्वेल्व फॉर सैवर पंग टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटी सेवन वॉज रिलीज जस्ट येस्टडे इट इंक्लूड्स मेनी फिक्सेज इन दिस वीडियो आई बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल न्यू कैम नाइन एंड न्यू कैफ सीज एफ एस आर थ्री फ्रेम जनरेशन मॉड इन दिस गेम आई हैव एक्चुअली ऑलरेडी शोन द इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसेस फॉर दीज मॉड्स इन दिस गेम इन माई ओल्डर वीडियोज बैक दैन आई ऑब्जर्व सम ग्राफिकल आर्टिफैक्ट्स अराउंड द लेफ्ट राइट एंड बॉटम एजिज ऑफ द डिस्प्ले डुप्लीकेट फ्रेम्स टू बी मोर स्पेसिफिक इट वॉज ईजली नोटिसबल ऑन अ स्पीडिंग व्हीकल Just to be clear, this bug has nothing to do with the mods. It's a common problem with FSR frame generation. This process is used in order to prevent the flickering of the game's interface. Good thing is that we can fix this problem using some more mods. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use these mods. These additional mods are compatible with both Nukem 9 and Luke FC's FSR 3 frame generation mods. Now, when it comes to performance, both Luke FC and Nukem 9's mods are identical. I'm not surprised at the result as they just add FSR 3 support to a game. The difference lies in the process of injecting FSR 3 into a game. Nukem 9's mod replaces DLSS frame generation with FSR 3 frame generation. It only works on RTX based GPUs whereas Luke FC's mod replaces FSR 2 with FSR 3. It even works in games that don't support DLSS frame generation. In some games that don't support DLSS frame generation, if you use Luke FC's FSR frame generation mod, game's interface will flicker. It is compatible with any GPU, whether it's from Intel, Nvidia, or AMD. It does not matter. Basically, it has better game compatibility than Nukem 9's mod. Another good thing is that Luke FC's mod is not limited to FSR 3 upscaler. We can even use DLSS or XCSS upscalers. Just need to change the mod's mode from its TUML file. The biggest advantage of Nukem 9's mod over Luke FC's mod is that it's absolutely free. In order to gain access to Luke FC Spot, you need to subscribe to their Patreon page. Their monthly Patreon subscription costs around six US dollars. Then you will have access to their Discord server where the mod files are present. First, I'll be showing you how to install Luke M9 Spot. I'll be running the game on my Windows PC that has an RTX 2070 Super GPU. This mod has not been updated since version 0.9 that was released on 10 January 2024. Just click on the Nexus Mods link. For Cyberpunk, I'll be using the Universal version or DLL version of the mod. Just click on Manual Download here. In order to download any stuff from Nexus Mods website, need to have a free Nexus Mods account. Click on Slow Download. This is the archive file that I just downloaded. Extract its contents. Open DLL underscore version folder. Copy these two files. Open the games install directory. I own the Steam version of Cyberpunk. Select it in your library. Right click. Go to Manage, then click on Browse Local Files. This is the games install directory. Just open bin folder. Open x64 folder. Paste the files here where the games exe file is present. Replace in my case as these files were already present here. Now we need to make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is enabled. Right click anywhere on your desktop and then click on display settings. Now click on graphics, then click on change default graphics settings and make sure this toggle is enabled under hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now open Nvidia control panel. Click on Manage 3D Settings, then click on Global Settings. Scroll down to the end. Enable Vertical Sync from here. You can also apply this setting on a per game basis. Just click on Program Settings here. Then click on Add. Find the game's EXE file. There it is. Cyberpunk. Scroll down to the end. Enable Vertical Sync. Then apply the setting. That's it. The mod has been installed. The process is that simple. Start the game. I'll show you the graphical artifacts before fixing them. Play. In game settings, I'm using the ray tracing low preset, DLSS enabled. I'll just use its quality preset. Frame generation disabled for the time being. Motion blur disabled. Film grain disabled as well. high to ultra settings full hd resolution display mode set to full screen in game basing disable nvidia reflex low latency setting enable start the game 
we are in i am standing right outside v's apartment building here we are getting around 70 fps before using frame generation technique just make sure in game fps does not drop below 45 60 fps will be ideal now i'll enable frame generation go to settings graphics and just enable the toggle corresponding to frame generation apply observe the fps counter yeah fps increased up to 130 when i move the camera around quickly you can observe some flickering of textures around the left and right edges of the display it will be very easy noticeable when i am driving around i'll hijack the vehicle kill the cops first Just observe the car's bumper. I'll speed up the vehicle first. Dispatch. Suspect's vehicle has been located. Details have been sent. Suspect has disappeared. All units on site. Continue searching the area. Just observe the car's bumper. You can see the duplicate frames. Screen tearing like effect. So now I'll show you how to fix this issue. We need to install frame gen ghosting fix mod for FSR3. Eliminates the most irritating frame gen ghosting behind cars and motorcycles while driving in a third person view. Does not require motion blur and comes with zero performance cost. Amazing. Just click on files here. I'll give the link to Nexus mod website in the description of the video. Now you need to download the version of the mod corresponding to your display aspect ratio. I'm using 16 is to 9. I won't be downloading the latest version of the mod. In order to use the latest version of this mod, you need to use Red Script, which I don't use. So I'll just download an older version of the mod. This one, version 1.4a. Just click on Manual Download here. Need to download a few more mods: Crouch, Vignette Effect Remover, and Disable Vignette and or Sharpening. Won't be using Red Script and Trash Be Gone mods. The latter is completely optional. It removes blowing debris and cockroach. Download the mod. Click on Download bar here. Click on Slow Download. Now click on Crouch Vignette Effect Remover. It will take you to the mod's download page. Click on Files. Then click on Manual Download here. Click on Slow Download. Now click on Disable Vignette and/or Sharpening. It will open the mod's download page. Click on Files here. I'll be using this mod to disable vignette only. Won't be disabling sharpening. Just click on Manual Download under Disable Vignette. Now click on Slow Download. These are the three archive files that I just downloaded. Need to extract their contents. First, extract the contents of Frame Gen Ghosting Fix. Archive folder. Now extract Crouch Vignette Effect Remover. It contains an archive folder as well. Extract it. Now extract disable vignette archive file. Same thing again. Extract it. Now three archive files should be present in the final subdirectory of archive folder. I'll show you this. Keep opening it. There you go. Go back and copy this archive folder. Just paste it in the games install directory. Right click, manage, browse local files. This is the directory. That's it. Mods have been installed. Let's run the game using the same settings as before. Game generation enabled. Jump into the game. Yeah, the game has started. I'm in my vehicle, moving the camera around. And you can see, edges of the display are not flickering, not producing any duplicate frames. And just drive the car. Observe the bumper of the vehicle. Drive in a brightly lit area. Flickering has been fixed. 
these mods work very nicely. Best part is they don't come with any performance hit. So now I'll be showing you how to remove Nukem 9's mod. Oh my god, I killed that civilian. All units in the area. Criminal activity reported in Watson. Uninstalling Nukem 9's mod is very simple. Just need to delete these three files. First we have these two files. Then find version.dll file, there it is, delete it. That's it. My Luke FC's Patreon subscription has expired, so I'll be using an older version of their mod, version 0.10.1. First you need to extract the contents of common mod files archive file. I've already done that. Just copy these two files. Paste them in the games install directory. Right here, where the game's exe file is present. From Luke's Discord server, you need to download the mod's ASF file corresponding to the version of FSI used in Cyberpunk. I've already downloaded it. Extracted its content, ASF file. Copied and pasted in the same directory where you pasted the previous files. That's it, we are ready to run the game. The process is that simple. Mod's TML file will be generated automatically when you run the game for the first time with the mod install. Even when you select DLSS from the in-game setting, game will be running using FSR3 upscaler. In order to switch to a different upscaler, we need to tweak one setting from the TML file. I'll show you that. Here yeah, you'll see this black window with some logs indicating that the mod is working. If you just want to use FSR3 upscaler, you don't need to tweak the TML file. You can play the game as it is. Quit game. Go back to the games install directory where you pasted the mod files. Here look for a TML file. There it is at the end. Open it using a text editor. Mods default mode is default. I'll just replace default with replace underscore DLSS underscore FG. Now I'll be able to use DLSS. Click on file, click on save, close the file, start the game. The mods for fixing FSR3 frame generation ghosting are already installed, so everything should work right off the bat. Using the same settings, frame generation enabled, DLSS enabled using its quality preset. Scroll down. Motion blur disabled. Full HD resolution. In-game using disabled. Start the game. We are in standing right outside V's apartment building, and you can see even here we are getting around 120 FPS. Was getting roughly the same performance using Nukem 9 Sport. I'll engage in combat. Go for a ride. All units in the area. Disorderly conduct reported Okay, Washington. observe the bottom edge. Suspect's vehicle has been located. Details have been sent. There's no flickering going on. Even on the left All and right edges of the display. Ghosting fix mods are working very nicely. Even with Luke FC's FSR 3 mod. So that's it with the video guys, I hope you found it useful, thanks for watching and have a nice day.